Okay, here we'll look at a few issues that may make your screen not work after replacing a keyboard. So first you're going to look at these cables right here. There's three of them. Uh, they're not all to your monitor, like for instance that one's to your CD-ROM, but make sure they're all nice and snug, just like that. They should be right and well connected. And if you follow it, you're going to see another cable come directly that way, and you want to make sure that one is really, really well plugged in as well. I don't know if you can see it from here, but there is one right in there. And just check it with a probing tool to make sure it's plugged in. Most likely cause of it not working is going to be right here. That little spongy looking thing, when you pull it up, sometimes when you change your keyboard they get pulled up. It'll look like... It'll look like that little guy. And sometimes they're just barely up, and that will completely mess up your screen. So you just want to make sure it's plugged directly in, just like that. Make sure you give it a good firm press. And then when you're done, go ahead and stick your little sponge back on top, just like that. If you're still having problems, there's a good chance that your digitizer has gone out, and that's located right in there. And you either have to replace the digitizer, or a lot of times I've seen that this cable that connects into your digitizer is either loose or damaged. So those are the three things that can mess up your screen when replacing a keyboard.